Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Jasmine Santos and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So now we will now go in our experiment number 15 which is up-down counter. So in this experiment, it illustrates the operation of a typical TTL up down counter that using 74 LS192. So in this IC, this is fully synchronous four stage up down BCD decade counter with parallel load and master reset inputs that can override the clocks. So this IC has um, separate terminal count up down output pins. These pins may be used as clocks for subsequent stages. Preset inputs are provided to allow the IC to be used as a programmable counter. The pin configuration, state diagram, and mode selection table are shown. So now, let's start our simulation in the multi-SIM simulator. So, hello everyone. We are now here in the multi-SIM simulator to interconnect the circuit given in our experiment number 15, which is up-down counter. So, you can see here that there is an IC, which is 74LS192, the 5V DC switch, the clock, the 2 ground, and the LED 1 to LED 6. So, you can see in the figure, that is figure A, count up. So, let's interconnect the circuit. So, let's start here in the 5 volts that is connected to the number 16. Okay, next, our LED. So, LED 1 is in the number 7 and 6 is for LED 2 2 is for LED 3 the number 3 is for the LED 4 and next 13 and 12 is for the LED 5 and LED 6. And after that, the number 11 is connected in our switch. So, that is. And we will connect this to the negative side and positive side. So, here in our ground and here. And next, the number 14 is also connected in our ground. And the number 5 is connected in our clock. 4 is connected also in the positive okay and this number 8 is also in our second ground and now we will connect the negative side of these LEDs in the ground okay so LED 2 3 4 5 and the LED 6 so now let's check so only 15 1 10 and 9 has no connection so let's find out what will happen if we run this so you can see that LED 5 and LED 6 is now what logic 1 or turned on even if our switch is at logic 0 or it is switch off so what will happen if we turn on our switch
so you can see here that lead 5 and lead 6 is remain at logic 1 while here in lead 1 to lead 4 there is a pattern in this um, lead so this lead display a pattern which is you can see that the count is up and for our procedure disconnect the jumper from the clock pass generator to the clock input pin 5 so we will disconnect this but first let's stop this simulation so we will disconnect so what will be the counting so let's run so there is no counting in the lead 1 to lead 4 but our lead 5 and lead 6 is turned on so switch off the power supply disconnect the jumper from the pin 4 and connect the clock pulse to pin 4 where is pin 4 so this is the pin 4 let's disconnect and we will connect there the clock in the pin 4 we need to connect here the number 5 not the number 4 okay so let's try so what will happen is here the lead 5 is blink while the lead 6 is still remain on so when we um, switch on the switch what will happen to the lead 1 to the lead 4 so the pattern here is um, countdown so you can see that is from here so that lead pattern is countdown okay so the question here um, when does in 5 go low let's see so in 5 go low when the um, sequence of the pattern is resetting so after the sequence the lead pipe is also um, going at low position okay then turning on again when the sequence is begin so that's all i hope you learned something new from this experiment number 15 up down counter don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you